Voting has been completed and the tellers have been called to the table to enable, to enable the, the counting and announcements of results. Three members elect contested for the position of the Speaker at the Assembly. They are Tajuddin Abbas from Zaria Federal Constituency in Kaduna State. There's also Ahmed Idris Wasi from Plateau State. And then Aminu Jaji from Zamfara. The voting was done using the open ballot system. And any moments now, the winner is going to be announced. As I said earlier, according to what is uh, provided in the rule books, the winner of the election has to secure more than one half of the votes. That is at least 181 votes to be declared winner as the Speaker Tent Assembly. The exercise is being presided over by the Deputy Clerk to the National Assembly, Mr. Kamaruddin. 359 absentees, nil. Member elect, starting from the runners up, members elect Aminu Jaji, who three votes. <laughs> Member elect Idris Wase. Full three votes. <laughs> Member elect Tajuddin Abbas, 353 votes. Members elect, my name is Sani Magajitamwal, the clerk to the National Assembly. I have the honor and the privilege to declare the result of the election for the seat of the Speaker of the Federal House of Representatives. Here is the result. <coughs> I will now declare the result. Yeah. Member elect Tajuddin Abbas, having scored the highest number of votes, is hereby declared the winner and the return elected as the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Yeah. 
members elect are now called the proposer and the seconder to lead the winner for to take out of office. The clerk to the National Assembly, Magaji Sanitambul, has declared Tajuddin Abbas from Kaduna State as the Speaker Tent Assembly, having secured the highest number of votes in this contest. He got 353 of the total votes cast, while Ahmed Idris Wasi from Plato State got three votes and Aminu Jaji from Zamfara secured three votes. Functions honestly, honestly, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, faithfully, faithfully, in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the law, and the law, and the rules of the house, and the rules of the house, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, and always. 
always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, integrity, solidarity, solidarity, well-being, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive to, pro to preserve. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives, the fundamental objectives, and directive principles, and directive principles of state policy of state policy contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that and that i will preserve and that i will, uh, I will abide and that i will preserve that i will preserve protect protect and defend and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will abide and that i will abide by the code of conduct by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule contained in the fifth schedule of the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria to the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria so help me god so help me god Court of member of the House of Representatives. I, I, Abbas Tajuddin, do solemnly affirm, do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful, that I will be faithful, bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as a member of the House of Representatives, that as a member of the Federal House of Representatives, I will perform my functions. I will perform my Functions honestly, honestly, to the best of my ability, to the best of my ability, faithfully, faithfully, in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, in accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and the law, and the law, and the rules of the House, and the rules of the House, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, and always in the interest of the sovereignty, integrity, integrity, solidarity, solidarity. Well-being, well-being, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will, that I will strive to preserve. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives, the fundamental objectives, and directive principles, and directive principles of state policy, of state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve. And that I will preserve, protect, protect, and defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will abide. And that I will abide by the code of conduct. By the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule. Contained in the fifth schedule. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. I can sign with a blue bar. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. The clerk to the National Assembly, Sani Magaji Tambawa, just administered the oath of allegiance and oath of office on the Speaker of the Tenth House of Representatives, Tajuddin Abbas. Tajuddin Abbas represents Zaria Federal Constituency, Kaduna State. He was born in 1963. An educationist and a politician. Tajuddin Abbas holds a bachelor's degree in business administration. He also has a master's degree in business administration. He is also a PhD holder in business management. He started out as a primary school teacher in 1981 and later joined the services of Kaduna State Polytechnic. From there, he went to Kaduna State University as lecturer. He joined politics in 2011, during which he was elected as a member of the House of Representatives. He was re-elected four times over by his constituents and now he has won the position of the Speaker Tent Assembly.
Andu oba kuwa ya All right, um, we now know the destination of the gavel uh, in the 10th Assembly for the House of Representatives, and that is to uh, um, the uh, member representing uh, Zaria, Federal Constituency of Canada State, uh, now uh, the Speaker of the House of Representatives for the 10th uh, House of Representatives. Uh, we're talking about uh, Right Honorable uh, T.J. Abbas, Tajuddin Abbas, uh, having polled 253 votes as against uh, uh, Aminu Jaji with three votes and Idris was uh, three votes. That's uh, quite a statement in terms of uh, where yeah. uh, his colleagues uh, put their confidence, uh, Senator. Yeah, that's quite a, that's quite a vote. And um, in the House of Representatives, you have um, the open ballot. And so members couldn't afford to be dissident against what the party had decided because sometimes it is always very um, costly in terms of um, in course of seeking re-election or sometimes costly uh, because the presiding officer may always may often look at where you voted before he takes a decision on where to place you or what assignment to uh, offer you. So um, I think it was this, this proposition in the House of Representatives was uh, a lot more straight than it than it, it was in the Senate. But the Senate had a secret ballot, and uh, distinguished senators, for their different reasons, exercised their, vo their, their vote the way they wanted. But by grace of God, the former governor of Akwaibum State, the former minority leader, the former um, minister of Nigeria, former presidential aspirants, as it were, uh, has emerged, Goswila Akwaibio, uh, has emerged as uh, president of the 10th Senate. And uh, looking at the House of Representatives now, very shortly, we expect that uh, there will be the process also to uh, nominate the Deputy Speaker. I uh, saw so just beside um, uh, the Senate, I mean the Speaker now, uh, one of the people vying for that position, uh, talking about Honorable Carlo, Benjamin Carlo from yeah. Abia State. Yeah. Uh, we expect that process to go on, and I think uh, one of the members uh, elect is standing up now. Let's uh, go back to the House of Reps to see what is happening. Night Assembly, Right Honorable Femi Bajabi Amila, Right Honorable Speakers, past, present, the Clerk of the House, distinguished, eminent colleagues. I remain Baba Jimmy Benson. I represent the very good people and gender friendly people of the Kodu Federal Constituency. Honorable colleagues, 50% 50 of the job is done. Honorable colleagues, I rise today in the spirit of inclusion, in the spirit of marginalization, in the spirit of correcting the marginalization in our polity, in the spirit of renewed hope, in the spirit of inclusion, I rise today to nominate a man who has passed 45 bills in the House of Reps, a legal luminary, a man who has, who has, who has assisted the House as a publicity committee chairman of the House of Reps, a spokesperson par excellence. It is this same house that all members of all members elect today are being sworn in. 
a man of justice, a man of character, a man of good conscience, a man who at 29 became the local government chairman of Bende local government in Abia State, a man who at 32 years became a commissioner in Abia State, a lawyer par excellence who graduated from the University of Calabar, a man who I asked yesterday that are you sure you can do this job? A man who then called all his aides and said, the youngest person who is a member of the representative's office is greater than my office. A man who I asked again, are you sure you're ready for this job? He responded and used a phrase called a corporate soul. I said, what does that mean? He said a corporate soul means the office remains, but the officer comes and goes. He said, and he quoted John Wesley, he said that he will do all the good he can to all the people he can, at all the time he can, in all the places he can, to all the members he can, and every inch of the time. He is prepared to complement the good efforts of our Right Honorable Speaker Tent Assembly, Right Honorable T.J. Abbas, Iya Zauzau. I rise to nominate Benjamin Okeze Kalu as the Deputy Speaker of the Tent National Assembly. I so nominate Mr. Speaker. Any seconder? I'm by elect. No, 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 no. Go ahead, now. Go ahead. Good morning, honorable colleagues. My name is Kafilat Ogbara. Constituency of Yobe State, I rise to second the nomination of Honorable Ben Kalu as Deputy Speaker of this Right Honorable House. I so second. Yeah. Member. Order. Order. M members elect order. I now call Honorable Benjamin Kalu. Uh, Benjamin Kalu to state whether he accepts. Most distinguished speaker of the 10th Assembly, the clerk of the National Assembly, the Deputy Clerk of the National Assembly, all former presiding and principal officers of the previous assemblies, my honorable colleagues, member elects. My name is Benjamin Okezie Kalo. I represent the good people of Nigeria, 
starting from Bende, federal constituency. Mr. Speaker, honorable colleagues, I'm from Abia State. And I rise to accept the nomination ably presented by Honorable Jimmy Benson and ably seconded by Honorable Khadija. I so accept. Are there further nominations? Are there further nominations? Are there further nominations? In the absence of in the absence of further nominations, I declare the nomination closed. Benjamin Okeze Kalu, representing Bende Federal Constituency of Abia State, is now the Deputy Speaker, 10th House of Representatives, having emerged unopposed. Earlier, Tajuddin Abbas won the election after contesting against two other contenders winning the election with 353 votes to emerge winner of the 10th assembly race he represents zaria federal constituency of kaduna state The oath of office and allegiance was also administered on him by the clerk to the National Assembly, Mugaji Sani Tambuel. And now the Deputy Speaker is also going to be administered the oath of office and allegiance, being supported by the two members elect that nominated him. Baba Jimmy Benson from Lagos State and Kajija Booker from Yobe State. Benjamin Kalu is the immediate past spokesman, that is the chairman, media and public affairs of the Ninth House of Representatives and now on his way to occupy the seat of the Deputy Speaker 10th House of Representatives.
support of allegiance. Hi. Hi. Benjamin. Okezie. Carlo. Do you solemnly affirm. Do you solemnly affirm. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve. And that I will preserve. Protect. Protect. Defend. Defend. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. The Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Out of a member of the House of Representatives. I. I, Benjamin Okezie Carlo. Do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as a member of the House of Representatives. That as a member of the House of Representatives. I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions. Honestly. Honestly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law. And the law. And the rules of the house. And the rules of the house. And always in the interest of sovereignty. And always in the interest of sovereignty. Integrity. Integrity. Solidarity. Solidarity. Well-being. Well-being. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive to preserve. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives. The fundamental objectives. And directives principle. And directive principles of state policy of state policy contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria contained in the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will preserve and that i will preserve protect protect and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and defend the constitution of the federal republic of nigeria and that i will abide and that i will abide by the code of conduct by the code of conduct contained in the fifth schedule contained in the fifth schedule the Constitution of the Federal Republic the of Nigeria. the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. Deputy Speaker. No, no. Okay, so I'll give you the same, but the same thing. Okay. Now we come to Major Deputy Speaker. No, no, no. Vote of the Deputy Speaker of the House of Representatives. Aye. I, Benjamin Okezie Carlo, do solemnly affirm. Do solemnly affirm that I will be faithful. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That as a deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. That as a deputy speaker of the House of Representatives. I will perform my functions. I will perform my functions honestly. Honestly. To the best of my ability. To the best of my ability. Faithfully. Faithfully. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. In accordance with the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the law. And the law. And the rules of the house. And the rules of the house. And always in the interest of and, the sovereignty. And always in the interest of the sovereignty. Integrity. Integrity. Solidarity. Solidarity. Well-being. Well-being. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And prosperity of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. That I will strive to preserve. That I will strive to preserve the fundamental objectives. The fundamental objectives and directives principle. And directives principles of the state policy. Of the state policy contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Contained in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will preserve. And that I will preserve. Protect. Protect. And defend the and Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And defend the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And that I will abide. And that I will abide by the code of conduct. By the code of conduct. Contained in the fifth schedule. Contained in the fifth schedule. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. To the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So help me God. So help me God. My name? Yeah. You
about to be 15. Don't push it down. You know, I'm saying we push the same thing. Benjamin Kalu, Deputy Speaker of the 10th House of Representatives, signing the documents after taking the oath of allegiance and oath of office. He is a lawyer by training. He has occupied the office of a local government chairman in the past. He was a party chairman in Abia State. He also occupied the office of the senior special assistant to the governor before becoming member of the House of Representatives. He is currently a member of the National Executive Council of the ruling All Progressive Congress. Himself and the Speaker-elect Tajuddin Abbas were the nominees of the APC for the position of Speaker and Deputy Speaker of the 10th House of Representatives. No, it's okay. No, no, no. Uh, it's okay. Uh, this what else? Picture, picture. Where would my wife stand? National Assembly now have the two presiding officers in place. Talking about Tajuddin Abbas representing Zaria Federal Constituency, Kaduna State, elected as the Speaker after contesting with two other members elect. And the Deputy Speaker elect Benjamin Okezie Kalu from Bende, Federal Constituency of Abia State, emerging the Deputy Speaker unopposed after being nominated by two of his colleagues, Baba Jimmy Benson and Khadija Bukharo. 